This episode sponsored by our viewers. Thanks to folks like Ellie, Ivar, and Connor, we've been able to continue producing episodes. Our most dedicated sponsors are those that enjoy the show. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. Welcome to Sunday Night Shooters, I'm your host Derek Schomer. Today we're going to create the Black Raspberry Twizzler. Total turn off for 50% of the people on the show. More than. Probably. <laughs> people people hear Black Twizzler, they think. No, Black Raspberry sounds good. Then you look into the ingredients. Papa, lucid. That's your, your black licorice style flavor profile that you're going to get. Because Black Raspberry Twizzler all sounds sweet. Until you bring in the absinthe. Yes. Well, not sweet like as in great, sweet. but sweet as in like taste sweet. Three quarters of an ounce of absinthe for a shot. Yeah, that's a lot. That's why we're making two. Wow, that glass is pretty cold, uh, pretty warm, huh? Top with this, we're going to top it with Red Bull. So we're going to do a quarter ounce of Chambord, a quarter ounce of lemon juice, and call that good. Quarter ounce is not much. It's like almost like a splash. And when you're trying to pour a quarter ounce out of a big mother like this, it's pretty tough. Come on, it looks cool. Yeah, cool is nice. <laughs> quarter ounce, just a little bit more. Just the ingredients. I, there's a lot of absinthe recipes that have the lemon juice in there too. That's going to help really, I think, bring out some of that Yay. absinthe flavor. So, we're going to shake this, we're going to strain this into those, we're going to top it with Red Bull. Not going to need a lot of ice. There you are, so you still have to chill it. Check it out. That's great. It will break up, ready? Give it a nice 20 shake. I really want that, the water to start to, dil the ice to dilute and give that fresh aroma of the absinthe. You still have ice in there, don't you? <laughs> that happens every now and then. Good? <laughs> you tell me. So we're gonna leave just a little room at the top for our friend. Mr. Red. Which is only good in drinks. <laughs> Except for I'm gonna have a, I live, I spent, this stuff is not cheap. No, it's not. A a pack, a case. So what is a case, case. Of, of? Isn't it only four? No, no, they have a case. Oh. So a case of Coke Zero cost me maybe three ninety eight. dollars Someplace like that, maybe six, I don't know. I don't think it's six. I'll go three ninety eight. Case of this, twenty bucks. It tastes nasty. I don't think that's why it costs so much. <laughs> Obviously. But people don't buy that for the taste. But it still tastes nasty. I broke one of these, so Oh, that looks kinda cool. Really? I think it looks like human flesh. It's kinda cool to have a drink that looks like human flesh. Yeah. It's gotta be really hard to put that in my artwork though. See? There, maybe I can use that as my shot. Oh great. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Coming back at you. It's got like a whiplash effect. Hmm. That is a flavor roller coaster. Like hardcore. Kind of cool color though. The I said that and you're like, really? It's well, it's got like a the and darker. Now that you have a drink. You're like, hey, she's right. Well, no, I think this one is looks better because it's got like a the top looks darker than the bottom. I think density wise, like it's almost kind of cloudy on the top. Wow, this goes on. Black raspberry Twizzler. I'll I'll tell you yes. It tastes like a black raspberry Twizzler about 15 to 20 seconds after you finished it. 
from the start of the that drink, you get a bite, like that acidic bite, which I'm going to contribute to the Red Bull, like that crazy lemon. You got your lemon, lemon but that's that, at, like that, 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 I don't know, that citrus biting acid that you get out of the Red Bull. And then it gets weird, and that goes into like some crazy roller coaster of black licorice, but fiery numbness. And not fire, like you don't get any alcohol taste. If you understand and can appreciate absinthe, you know where I'm going with that. It doesn't really have like an alcohol taste. It has a, a mind-numbing taste. And so once you get through that numbing and it starts to subside, you start to get some of that black raspberry property out of it. The Chambord starts to flow out. At that point, the Red Bull's lost and it's really just numb black licorice and raspberry playing off each other still. It doesn't end. This is a shot that keeps giving. And I don't think that's too abnormal of a shot with absinthe. Typically, your tongue is numb for a little bit, and you get that black licorice style flavor, the black jelly bean. This, you get that with a little bit of raspberry. So if you can do one, you could do both. If you don't like anything with absinthe in it, this is not the drink for you. And there will be people who are going to say, okay, so I don't, and I get this like at least once a week. I don't like blah. Can I replace it with blah? And it's usually like the core component. Like I don't like, I think one of them was the alien secretion. It was like pineapple juice. Uh, Midori and coconut rum and they're like I don't like coconut rum what can I put in there like you put anything in there but it's not the same drink same thing if you don't like this don't make the recipe don't try and substitute just find another Red Bull recipe and call that good and, and, and pour this in there just for fun and you're good it's pretty strong but not potent roller coaster think roller coaster everyday drinkers oh wait question of the day did we ask one yet no I don't think we did we already got, talked about absinthe. Hmm. Here's a good one. This is Chambord. It's a it's a raspberry. Uh, they call it raspberry liqueur, or Frim Boys or something like that. Um, what other brands do you guys know about there for black raspberry? Maybe it's something basic like Arrow. Um, we have like I think we have three total. I'd like to know what other styles exist. I think Sourpuss may even count. I don't know. What do you guys think? Black raspberry liqueur. Think about it. What's your favorite brand? Aside from the obvious Chambord that dominates. EverydayDrinkers.tv. We're teaching you how to drink.